a commitment? A commitment is a promise to yourself, right? A promise that doesn't change. And actually, it's deeper than a promise. It's with action. It's a reason, a deep-rooted reason. And some of us were going into this year setting goals. And I'm going to tell you right now, goals are cool, but you need to live by certain standards in your life. What's the reason why you have to? What's the reason why you have to? Whatever it is, what's the reason why you have to heal? What's the reason why you got to change? What's the reason why you got to start that business? What's the reason why you got to take care of this? What's the reason? When the reason is strong enough, the struggle, the opinions, the setback, the failure, the inconvenience will never be great enough. When the reason is great enough, those things will never be strong enough. And for too many times in our life, including myself, we give too much power to the things that shouldn't have power over us. And so I need you to be locked in right now. I need you to really look yourself in the mirror and really make a decision, a real choice to say, you know what, I'm going to get the most out of my life because this is what I want to tell you. Develop a theme for your life. What's the theme for your life? And I want to just say this as a side note. To the people who are going to conquer through 2022 and not make 2022 like 2021, 2020, 1999 for some of y'all, 1986, repeating the same year for those that's really going to make a difference and a change this year, you know what? They already made up in their mind how they're going to respond. When inconvenience shows up, they made up in their mind how they're going to respond. When the plan doesn't go the way they planned it at the beginning of this year and real life shows up, they already made up in their mind how they're going to respond. Where I separated myself from a lesser version of myself to a version of myself that I deserve to be. Where I separated myself from all the things I was settling for to a place where I'm no longer settling for the things that I don't deserve in my life. You gotta make up in your mind how you're gonna respond. How you gonna respond because most people don't. And when struggle hits their face, they respond with fear. They respond with worry. They shut it down. Because everything isn't going the way it's supposed to go. Newsflash, it's not. I think 2020 has taught us that. 2021 has taught us that. So make up your mind how you're going to respond. And this is the message that I want to give you today. A lot of us, we live in like we got time. A lot of us live in like we got. Like we understand the timeline of our lives, the timeline for our jobs, the timeline for the lives of our loved ones. We act like we got time. We act like we got time to get it right. We act like we got time to postpone. We act like we got time and we procrastinate. We act like we have time. If 2021 taught me anything, and I want you to feel this in your soul, it taught me this, you don't have time. It ain't no more next year. It ain't no more next month. It ain't no more next time. It's now. It's this moment. Right now in your life. Some of us be waiting for the perfect time to make a change and to do something. And you're going to spend the rest of your life, your whole entire life, waiting. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of waiting. I understand waiting is and being patient, right? I understand that part of it. But it's a point where it's not waiting, it's procrastination. And some of us, we're living in procrastination because we've allowed fear to paralyze us. We've allowed people's opinions to paralyze us. We've allowed our past to paralyze us. And we stay stuck. If this year was your last year, how would you live it? How would you show up? Not just for yourself, but for your kids, but for your spouse, for your parents, for your brothers and sisters, for your friends. For the kids that you mentor, for the kids that you teach, for the people that you help, how would you show up? Because some of us, we act like we got the people around us forever. Forever comes with an expiration date. And some of us, we might not have the same help this year as we have last year. I know somebody got paralyzed last year. Nothing in this world is guaranteed. And when you realize that you operate in the way of healthy urgency, I'm not telling you to be anxious. I'm not telling you to drive yourself crazy by not getting sleep. I'm talking about healthy healthy, healthy urgency to say, you know what? I'm not going to waste a day. I'm not going to waste a moment. I'm not going to waste my life anymore. Some of us be holding grudges with people that we love and we too stubborn to apologize. We too stubborn to make it right. And then the next time we talk to them, they're in a the casket and we live with grief and regret. Some of us, we got dreams right in front of us. We praying to God to show us the way and God has already paved the way for you. But you expecting the way to look like a yellow brick road. You expecting the way to look like perfection. And you pausing your life when God has already gave you the tools and equipped you to make it happen with your life. After you finish getting off your knees and praying, it's time for you to walk with your feet and act that out. You have the capabilities, my friend. If you're tired of your health, what are you doing about it? If you're tired of being sick, what are you doing about it? Because some of us, we just pray and we just wait. We just hope and we just wait. 
and you're doing the same things that got you in this place and you're expecting those same things to get you out of that place. You can't get out the pit by doing the same things that got you in the pit. So what are you changing? I talked to myself today, I said, Trent, if you don't like what you see in the mirror, if you don't like how you feel, what are you going to do about it? You're going to keep complaining about it? You're going to keep being angry about it? You're going to keep praying about it? Or you're going to do something about it after you pray? And I said, enough is enough because this year is the year. This year is the year. Next year doesn't exist. So I'm going to give my all to my kids as if next year doesn't exist. I'm going to give my all to my spouse as if next year doesn't exist. I'm going to give my all to my dreams as if next year doesn't exist. I'm going to give my all to myself as if next year doesn't exist. I'm going to give my all to my friends as if next year doesn't exist. I'm going to give my all to my purpose as if next year doesn't exist. And I pray to God that next year does exist. But I'm going to tell you one thing. When I meet next year, it's going to meet a greater version of me. When I meet next year, it's going to meet a, a more leveled up version of me. When I meet next year, it's going to meet a more progressive version of me. I'm sick and tired of just talking about it. I'm sick and tired of just praying about it. I'm sick and tired of just wishing for it. I'm sick and tired. And some of you might not feel this message. And that's okay. But to you in here that are sick and tired of being sick and tired, I know this is piercing you right in your heart. And I'm so passionate about it because I know that this is the message that's going to create the change in your life that you need. That you need in your life. But it comes a point where you have to tell your mind that this is it. Would you stop selling for less if this was the last year? Would you stop staying in the toxic situation if this was the last year? Would you stop staying in things that don't deserve your energy and don't deserve your presence if this was your last year? You think God created you to settle? You think God created you to live broken? You think God created you to live miserable? You think God created you to live depressed? Don't believe that lie. But as long as we stay connected to the strongholds in our life, as long as we willingly stay connected to the chains that are chaining us back to low self-esteem, to chaining us back to depression, that's chaining us back to self-sabotage, that's, that's chaining us back to not knowing our worth, as long as we stay there, guess what's gonna happen with our life? We're gonna repeat the same cycle. And we're just gonna be hyped that the that the that the, <laughs> the calendar changed and nothing else changed in our life. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you find some healthy urgency in your life and you go every single day and say, man, you know what? I'm going to get the most out of this day. Listen, you're going to have your bad days. You're going to have your days where you fall off. But guess what? You can bounce back when you have that mindset that this year is your year. Why not? Inspiring people, impacting people, helping people transform their life. But you know what? Before I do any of that, in 2022, it starts with you. It starts with me. If I can't get the most out of my life, and I want you to understand, man, there's people around you that's watching you. Some of us, we trying to preach to our kids, but we ain't practicing to our kids. And we wonder why our kids don't respect anything about us, because we don't respect ourselves. We wonder why we can't impact people around our lives. And I know sometimes it's hard to impact the people closest to you, but ask yourself, what are you giving yourself? If this year was your last year, because for some people, and I hope there's nobody on here, it is. And I'll tell you right now, if this is my last year, I promise you, I'm going to go out with a bang. <laughs> I'm going to go out celebrating. Don't mourn for me because this is the year where I get more out of this year than I did in the last decade. And I don't have to talk about it. I'm not into making announcements about it. You're going to see it by how I show up for you guys. You're going to see it how I transform my body. You're going to see it. Because last year was a hard year for me. Last year was a year of me operating at 50%. Last year was a, me, a year of me almost losing myself. But I turned, I said, you know what? Not this year, not anymore. This is the year where I come back stronger. This is the year where I come back greater. This is the year where I come back better. This is the year where I raise the ceiling in my life. This is the year where things change. This is the year where I go from average to great. This is the year where I go from great to legendary. This is the year. This is the year. But it's not going to be the year if you don't move with healthy urgency in your life. If you don't face that reality that you've been running from, that reality that maybe that is over, that reality that maybe, you know what, this doesn't, th this environment sucks, I don't need to be in this environment, that environment, that reality of man, I'm my greatest opponent. But some of us, we run from that reality, you spend years running from your reality, face it. Because if you can't face yourself, if you can't face your truth, your life will never change.
I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this Every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement The top is so vacant I don't hear shit that I think is amazing Waiting For my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, Give me that crown Get in my way and to be put down It ain't your place All this my town If I want that shit then I'll get it right now I'm losing it The noose if it's some loose shit A stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip And lose a gift Oh I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't hear shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, Give me that crown, get in my way and to be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift Oh! I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each new update, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Yo, so do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor I'm